Right, so ChatGPT just released its newest update and it allows ChatGPT to actually browse the web in real time. Today, we're going to experiment with this, see how it works and talk about some of the implications for you and your business. First, let me show you how you can get started. You need to make sure that you have the ChatGPT Pro account, it's $20 a month. Well worth it in my opinion. If you're watching this video, it's probably worth it for you. Uh, once you've got that set up, you're gonna go into your settings, beta features, and make sure that you've enabled browse with Bing. That is it, pretty simple, all right? So next you're gonna go over here to your chat and you're gonna select the chat, you're gonna hover over the chat GPT-4 and you can see the browse with Bing feature. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you freaking excited? I've been waiting for this feature and I'm very excited to try it out. You know, so one of the things that I'm very interested in today is the stock market. I wanna make some money on the stock market, right? So. Why don't we ask ChatGPT for the stock market trends today? Let's check it out. And it is doing its thing. It is browsing the web. Pretty freaking cool. Now, historically, ChatGPT could browse the web in the past, September of 2021, but now it can actually search the web in real time, which is pretty freaking powerful. Uh, again, we're gonna talk about some of the implications later in the video. In the meantime, let me go ahead and fast forward and we can look at the results from this search all right so the search is over let's see what happens so one of the cool things that occurs while ChatGPT is searching the web is it actually tells you in real time what is happening right you've got this little drop down arrow so it searched being for stock market trends today may 31st 2023 it clicked on zax.com i don't know what the heck zax.com is i don't know how reliable this is but ChatGPT seemed to, to choose it which actually leads me to a, another question which is credibility authority, right? How do we know that these websites have the authority uh, that makes them credible, right? How do we know that these websites are the types of places that I wanna be taking advice from? Is there a way to train ChatGPT to search? Um, is this gonna change the nature of the internet based on uh, search engine optimization and authority and credibility? Again, this is something that uh, I'll be studying very closely and, and be relaying back to you, but this is something that I think about. As AI starts to search the web, one of the best ways to rank on Google, on Bing, is to get more hits on your website. So our companies, our businesses, going to start manipulating algorithms, manipulating that search data, manipulating their authority by using AI to get more hits. I don't know, we will see. So then it went here and it searched Forbes, which by the way, I don't, Sorry, Forbes, don't love you. I know a lot of entrepreneurs that pay to play. They pay to get features. So I, I don't know how credible these are. This is the other thing that I've noticed that happens quite a bit is reading content failed. I don't, I don't fully understand why the reading content is failing, but let's see what it gave us here uh, as a result from its uh, searching zax.com and forbes.com. Uh, based on the information found, it says, hey, the, the U.S. debt ceiling increase and interest rate hike concerns are, are relevant, something it's thinking about. Again, it is giving you citations so you can go to the websites and read the articles yourself to get a clear idea of what's going on there. For stock opportunities, it's saying Amazon, Chipotle, and Dollar General. All right, cool. That's, that's great. That's kind of like obvious stuff i'd rather you know find me the small stuff that nobody's talking about i think that's where ai and stock market get very very interesting um but then it stopped mid mid sentence so the prompt to handle this problem is continue but when i hit continue it just started a brand new search not thrilled with that not thrilled that i just wanted you to continue with what you were what, what you were doing there so it basically just went back to forbes looked at a few different articles and kind of continued and, and it gave me, in addition to Amazon Chipotle and Dollar General, gave me Build-A-Bear Workshop. Again, none of these are very exciting stock tips. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs down for this search. Let's try another search here. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna look at business opportunities. I run a podcast agency. I wanna manage podcasts. I've got a great team. We've got great systems. We're using AI. We're just really, really killing it. And so what I wanna do 
is I wanna look for businesses that have podcasts that might be potential clients. So let's go ahead and type in a message into ChatGPT and see if it can't go scour the web and find some resources for us. Let's check it out. So I basically tell it what I do, what my business is. I run a podcast production agency. I'm looking for business podcasts. Please create a list of business podcasts that are local to South Florida. Um, now, you could use this particular st type of strategy or method for any business. Let's say you're a roofing company. Please find me a list of buildings and communities that are over 30 years old that might need roof replacement, something like that. But in this case, I wanna find a list of business podcasts that are local to South Florida. Let's hit enter. Let's see what it can find for us, all right? All right, so we have our results here. Let's see what we've got. So it searched Bing for business podcasts in South Florida. Click failed, click failed, click failed. Basically none of it worked. So it went back to the well and tried again. Uh, reading content failed, click failed. Reading content failed. Reading content failed. Going back to last page. It doesn't look like it's having a lot of success searching the web right now. I was able to find one business podcast local to South Florida. South Florida Business Journal podcast. So we got one. We got one. Not really that exciting. And if there's one thing I'm noting, it, it just looks like there's this platform, this program is riddled with a lot of errors. Now, again, it's still in beta. This will get better. But I would say that uh, this was a fail. I mean, I did get one business so I can uh, go and find this podcast, see if I can reach out, connect, collaborate, see if there's opportunities here. But uh, as of now, ugh, not super impressed with this web browsing feature in ChatGPT. So let's try one more thing. I'm trying to bring you the hottest new AI apps, the hottest new AI text, giving you what's working for me. So why don't we search for new AI apps that are popular that came out this month. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so one of the cool things about this browse feature is I can go and get a drink, I can make a coffee, what have you, and I can come back and my browsing is done. So let's see what we've got here. So it finished browsing, it went to Forbes, of, of course. Uh, then it went to TechCrunch. I can't think, I don't understand why it keeps failing to read content, why it keeps failing to click. It's very, very odd to me. So then it goes to TechCrunch. TechCrunch, TechCrunch just really likes TechCrunch. It wants to go to TechCrunch, which again, like I had mentioned earlier, means that your authority, your website authority is gonna become more and more important if you want to get views and clicks from these AI search aggregators. So what does it say here? I apologize, but I was unable to find specific information about the most popular AI apps that were released in May, 2023. So it just failed. It failed in its task. It says, uh, I tried searching for the information, but it seems to be quite challenging due to, <laughs> that's hilarious, uh, challenging to find due to the number of vast number of apps being released and the specificity of the date. I just asked for May of 2023. I wanna know what are the most popular apps. So it came back with nothing. It came back with zero. I gotta be honest, I am very disappointed with the level of chat GPT's web browsing as of today. Um, very buggy, very inefficient. I do know that it will get better. We're in beta now, and the more people that are using it, the better it's going to get. Uh, this is the future. Once they get this down, it's gonna be incredibly, incredibly powerful because all that browsing and research that you've been doing, AI will be able to do in just a few minutes while you're working on something else, like maybe going on a sales call or creating a YouTube video or whatever you want to do in your time. I'm also extremely excited to be adding this functionality to automations. Again, once the glitches get sorted out, um, which I gotta be honest with the glitches, I'm very disappointed because I've watched a number of videos which are showing these amazing, amazing results. I don't know how y'all are getting these results. I don't know if it's even real because I, I, I'm doing it in real time. You're seeing it happen right here. And all it's doing is giving me back butt kiss. In fact, some of the, the videos that I've watched, some of the informative blog articles that I've read, I will type in the exact text, the exact prompts that they're using, and it gives me back errors. It doesn't work. Very disappointed. Very, I'm very, very disappointed. But as it gets better, I'm very excited to implement this into my automations. 
maybe uh, I can use it to do research for new podcast guests. Podcast guest fills out a guest request form and then we'll automatically research their website. It'll automatically research the web to see what they've done and it will help me to get prepared more quickly. It can even give me out sample questions, potential questions to ask, which could be a powerful thing for, for all you podcasters out there. But even if you're in the sales business, it could, you know, it could look at their website. It could look for areas of opportunity and it could help you, it could help develop a sales strategy or even a sales script so that you can actually close. You could convert that into emails. There's a lot of cool things I think that we can do with automation. Um, and like I mentioned before, the other big question is how does this impact authority for websites? How will you rank once AI is browsing the web at scale? These are big questions that I think need answers and I'm gonna keep giving them to you as I come across them. If you like this video, smash subscribe. I will catch you in the next video, baby. In the meantime, go forth and conquer it. I'll see you, peace.